everybody to direct sales training with Rich Norton. I am your host and I'm delighted to be here. I have a passion in case you haven't figured this out. If you watched all of our previous episodes, you know that I have a passion to teach people, to train people, to help people to get to high levels in the field of direct selling. No matter what you're selling, I'm here to help in any way that I can. So for me, you know my background, sold encyclopedias door to door, knocking on doors for over 20 years all around the country, all around the world. I know all about rejection, I know all about failure, and I know a lot about success also. Also, what I'm doing right now, merchant services, credit card processing, direct selling walking into different businesses for the very first time and the key word is helping them in the area of merchant services whatever that may be helping them save money helping them get upgraded with new terminals whatever their needs are magic word i'm there to help them and speaking of help i'm here to help you and that's my commitment to all of you i have a passion to help people reach high levels of success. For me, have had a lot of success, want to make sure I'm helping you achieve your levels. Now, when we talk about direct selling, there's a lot of different topics we've covered already. We will continue to cover techniques when it comes to selling. We've talked about, for example, cold calling, how to get people in front of you, uh, how to sell your product effectively, how to have more confidence in what you're doing, how to sell uh, overcoming objections. You know, that's real important. But we can cover a lot of different areas, but the area that counts most of all, and you're ready to hear this, is the area from here on up. As we always say, you want to have a checkup from the neck up because all those other areas mean nothing. Believe me when I tell you, all those other areas mean nothing if this area is not right. So you have to get this part right. Once you do that, then all the other parts will fall into place. So I'm going to encourage you, whatever field of direct selling that you're in, make sure you do your research on your opportunity, on your company, especially when you're starting out brand new. Make sure you're with the right company that's going to be there for a while. You know they're solid. They're going to take good care of you. You've got a good product, something that you can believe in, and we're going to talk about that. You have some, a system. They're going to train you. All this is important so you're not flying by the seat of your pants. So make sure you do your due diligence. Make sure you're getting the proper training, and especially in our industry. I have many people that come to us from other merchant service companies and when I ask them, tell me about your company, tell me about your training, tell me about the support you're getting, tell me about the pay that you're receiving. And a lot of it is left up in the air, it's very vague. And a lot of the training is, well, they watched a few videos and, and I just call them if I need anything. I get a couple of statements, if I need something, then I just reach out to them. And that's pretty much what their training is. It's important, especially if in you're in our industry or any field of direct selling, that you get the proper training and you get the proper support. Very, very important. So make sure that you're doing your due diligence, especially for those of you that are watching this and you're saying, I want to get into direct sales. That's why I'm tuning in. Tell me about it. Very important that you find the right company, right people, right training. Very, very important. So make sure you do that. Once you've done that, here's a key word that I'm going to share with you today. This word is very important, and that word is believe or belief. Okay, you should get a piece of paper, write that down. Believe. Because if you believe, you can have success you can have great success in what you're doing. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is belief in your company. So that's why I was referring to making sure that you do your due diligence, that you 
research the company that you're working for make sure they're a solid company because if you really want to build a big future you want to make sure you're building a future with a company that you know is solid and it's going to grow now that doesn't mean that they're a perfect company even in our industry company that we work with a plus rating but it doesn't mean they're perfect there's always room for improvement and that's the same thing in whatever company that you are working with so once you've established that that you know you have a solid company that's going to take care of the customer they're going to have good customer service they're going to have a good solid product they're going to provide you with the right training they're going to provide you with great incentive programs great pay you know these are all important things do your due diligence with that and once you've established that then you can say i believe in my company I'm excited about the company that I work with. I'm excited about the people that I work with. I believe in the people that are my mentors. I believe in what they are doing. I love their vision. I love where they're going. And it's important that I believe in the company's philosophy. Find out what their mission statement is. Make sure that lines up with your morals. Make sure they have integrity, very important. All these things go a long way. Talk to the people that are working with the company. Find out how long they've been with the company. Talk about their testimonies. What type of uh, work, you know, how long they've been doing it and so forth. What type of levels of success that they have been reaching. If you find, for example, that you're with a company and everybody's brand new, you know, they've been around for 10 years and everybody's brand new, that's probably not a good sign. You know, that means they probably have a high turnover rate and people are not sticking with the company. The good sign is you can get with a company and they have people that are working for nine years, 10 years, 15 years, five years, and they're excited about the company and you can see the success that they're having. You're developing good mentors and you're saying, see that person right there? That's the type of person that I want to be like. I believe in them, I believe in myself, and I believe in my company. So these are real important things to really take a look at when you're going into direct selling. It's important that you believe in your company. So I can't stress that enough. I, again, I have so many people that come from other companies and some of them have been there a little bit too long and they lost time. They wasted a lot of time. Maybe they got a little bit of training, but they may have lost a lot of money. Maybe they got cheated out of money, whatever it might be. But you want to make sure that you start with the right company, a company that you can truly believe in, knowing that you're going to go far. Now, again, understand, not everything's perfect. You know, companies always are looking for ways to improve. That's what I'm all about. No matter what level that we're at, I'm all about keeping improving in all areas of the company. And I'm talking about new products, new services, uh, better customer service, better customer support, better training. You know, no matter what level, we never want to stay stagnant. We never want to keep at that level where hey, everything's perfect. We don't have to worry about anything. We're not going to grow anymore because if we do that, what's going to end up happening is we're going to start going backwards. So either we're growing or we're shrinking. Keep striving. Keep looking to improve. So very, very important. Believe in your company and take a look around at the people that you're working with and if you're not seeing a lot of success for over a period of time take a look at that and i'm very excited to say that with our company the super crew of payrock i've been doing this 22 years i've developed some great friendships some great brotherhoods and sisterhoods with many of the people that work with us and we call ourselves a family and we do great things together. We have company trips, we have company incentive programs. As I always say, we are walking the beaches of the world. We are climbing the ladder of success together. 
We are jumping board on the success train and we're doing it together. And I'm very grateful to say, this is a plug for what we're doing, that we have the right company. We have the right products, we have the great services, and we have uh, the people that are gonna help us. So believe in your company, believe in your products and services. That's all part of that belief program. Believe in what you're doing, get to know your products, get to know what you're selling, and then believe in that, because if you believe in that, here's what's gonna happen, your prospects will believe in them too. So belief in the company, belief in the products, and then here's the most important factor, and I can't stress this enough, believe in yourself. If you believe in you, then others will believe in you as well. And that's very, very, very important if you want to have success. So you need to look in the mirror each and every day and say, I believe in you. I believe, as the song goes, I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. I spread my wings and fly away. It's believe. In order to be a champion, you have to believe you're going to be a champion. In order to be a winner, you have to believe that you're going to be a winner. In order to have success in anything, you have to believe, first of all, that you're going to be able to accomplish that. So again, belief in the company, belief in your products, most important, believe in yourself. That's the word, I believe. Do you believe that you're gonna have great success from this day forward? big part of having success in direct sales. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you on the next show. Hey, it's Rich Norton with the Super Crew of Payrock. Thank you for tuning in to my show. I hope all the things that we're teaching you are very, very helpful. Whatever field of selling that you're in, go out and make it happen. I've had many, many people reach out to me as we've been filming these shows and also through all the other videos and all the different events that we've been doing, inquiring about what we do. And they're saying, man, you've got a lot of successful people all around the country. You're talking about residual income. You're talking about traveling. You're talking about having an abundant life and making it happen. I want to do that type of direct sales. Do you have opportunities with your company? The answer to that question is yes, we do. We certainly do. Our division is called the Super Crew of Payrock. We're the fastest growing processor in the whole country. Our group is the number one group of Payrock. And I have a passion, as you have seen, to motivate, train, and help people to reach their full potential. We have representatives all around the country that are earning crazy amounts of income, residual income. This business is as big as you want it to be. Somebody told me years ago, if you want to build wealth, get into a business where you're earning residual income. So if you're that type of person and you want to find out more, we have opportunities available. To see if you qualify, reach out to me. You can call me on my phone number. My phone number is 904-434-4635. You can email me at payrockrichnorton at gmail.com. You'll see it right on the screen here. And perhaps you could qualify for this wonderful opportunity.